Hey you guys, we're back with an awesome new effect on Photoshop, and this is called the Sin City effect, or the Pleasantville effect, as you see in the top right corner, and the bottom left. So what this is, is concentrating a color or an object, and having a color while the rest of the objects in the background are black and white. And, um, so this is our example, this is what we're going to be making. So this is the final output, and I want to show you kind of cool tricks that you can uh, do when you're doing this, and maybe things you want, might not know, and how to actually accomplish this. So let me actually start with the new object. Okay, um, you can start off... Oh yeah, okay, whatever. You're gonna probably have to unlock the uh, a layer, so I already did that. Now after you do that, to unlock it, you double click it, and it'll bring up something, then press OK, and then it's unlocked. Okay, where's my mouse? There it is. Okay, um... What you want to do is right click, and duplicate, or you can control J with the layer selected. Is it duplicated? No, whatever. Okay, well, right click, duplicate. Yes. Okay, now you have a duplication. So that's just in case if you just mess up, then you can just go back and just start all over. What you want to do is have the quick selection wand. That's why I usually do. I find there's actually plenty of ways to do this, but I find this way the easiest for me. So just select the background. The more precise, the better look. Okay, now you could do it right now. You could uh, go uh, do the effect right now. But you notice there's like something missing right here, like right here. It's a little off, so make sure you correct that. Okay. And, if you uh, click, then it's like not working because it's already selected, and you don't want this selected. Instead of doing it, like starting all over, you can hold Alt. Here, let me get closer. She's so gonna have to tell. Wait, increase the brush size. Okay, when you press Alt, you see the plus in the middle. There's hold. Press Alt. There's a minus, and that means it deselects it. So, let's do that. Oops, now I gotta. I think you just do this back and forth until you get the right precise um selection you want. Oops. Okay, and what I'm selecting right now, oops, I'm selecting the background, so I'm going to change the background colors to black and white. So I need to deselect this part, and I'm failing really bad right here. It's not liking me. Okay. Okay, now we're just going to get rid of this. Okay, now you, if you want, you can get the smaller ones. Well, not small. The inside the leaves, and like right here, it's selected the whole thing. So you just press Alt again and just highlight this or select it. I'm not gonna do everything because that'll take a while. So just for the time, I'm just gonna make this a little sloppy. But the more time you take into it, the better it's gonna look. You know, the drill. Okay, well, now after you do this, do image on top, adjustments, gradient map. Now they're just going to have the um, grayscale mapping, whatever it's called. Now you click it. Now there's different presets you you get. Now what you're supposed to, you can press this one, or you can press this one. I think this one's better because it has higher contrast and shadows and all that. So you press that and press OK. Control D, which deselects it. And there you have it, pretty much. Um, you notice pretty much everything's good except for like these. But if you really want to, you could just go and have the time and do it. Um, you notice that the B that you probably might want it that um to highlight. You want it um highlight, but it didn't you forgot. Let's say now you can just highlight this guy or the object, whatever you want. Press backspace, and it'll just get rid of the um gradient map. So then he's fine, and then that's pretty much, and you're done. It was that easy. There's there are plenty of different ways. This is just one single way, and there you have it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.